What is happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Master Ball Rank. So last episode we had a pretty good time using the uh, Whimsicott Tailwind team with Durant and Mimikyu. So I think that's what we're going to go with again. Uh, it's actually pretty fun to work with. We're going to see if we can get Durant to uh, run through some teams here. So let's select some rank battles. We are going to be trying to graduate from Great Ball tier. It's probably going to take us a little bit, but hopefully we can keep the win streak going here. So let's select single battle. Yeah, we're going to hit no because why not? All right. Um, so I think we're probably going to stick with kind of what works on this team. I think Durant is a good option. Um, Whimsicott actually seems to perform pretty well too, especially as a lead with the Focus Ash. And then the last slot is kind of just up to us. So let's just select this team. And uh, let's go ahead and hand, up, hand out some free L's today, boys. All right, so our first victim has been found. And let's do it. So we're, we're sitting at rank 7. And uh, alright, so we see Togekiss, which is scary. Also the Corviknight. Always afraid of the Gyarados. Um, if they do end up leading with the Gyarados and just start to Dragon Dance and then Dynamax, it's obviously a bad time. I will try to work around that. Next they got the Grimmsnarl. Ooh, man, and the Tyranitar. And the Dragapult. So, some absolute heat on the opponent's end. We have really... I mean, every opponent has really brought some pretty interesting teams. Um, pretty standard stuff, but it does make it a little bit difficult for us. I think Whimsicott is really w performs really well in this matchup. It's great for Grimmsnarl. Um, Tyranitar as well. I mean, it does good against the Dragapult. We're definitely going to lead off with the Whimsicott, and I think we're just going to kind of go with the old trusty strategy here. So let's bring Durant. Um, I like Mimikyu just because it's kind of a guaranteed revenge killer, to be honest. This thing is just so good in this format. So, that's what we're going to be working with. We do have the Lumberry on Whimsicott in case anybody wants to mess with any status shenanigans, but I'm expecting them to probably bring... Um, the Gyarados looks decent. Other than that, probably Togekiss. Um, but they do have kind of a tough matchup trying to think about Whimsicott. So, I like, I like this team because it does allow... Uh, us to be able to put on some pressure having that high dragon there. We also have the Galarian Darmanitan, which a lot of people are assuming are going to expect us to bring, but all right. So, battle number one in today's episode. Let's get it, boys. I don't know what I'm reaching for in my trainer card. <laughs> reaching for them dubs. All right. So, uh, the idea behind this team, if you missed last episode, essentially Whimsicott sets up the Tailwinds and has a good time with that. They are actually just going to lead off with the Togekiss. Um, man, so this is a little bit bad for us. If this thing decides it wants to set up, that's not going to be too great. Um, I also don't want a hard switch on this thing. We could bring in Durant, um, which does outspeed. If we Dynamax, we can get that Iron Head to hurt quite a bit. Um, Togekiss lead, not the best for us, but I, I do kind of want to save the Whimsicott. Um, so this thing likely going to just go for like an Air Slash. So I think we just go ahead and we could potentially just U-turn. I know that Durant is going to be able to outspeed. Let's go ahead and click U-turn here. Um, I was considering staying in, going for the Moonblast. Ooh, they're actually just going to Dino right from the start here. Ooh, this is actually <laughs> this is actually not great for us. Dynamax Togekiss is actually one of the scarier things. Look at this cloudy boy. All right. So they do just use that Dynamax right from the start. Um, Togekiss does have some options to hit Durant pretty hard, and we're also pretty frail. I kind of... Wish I would have stayed in here just to see what this thing was going to go for. This makes me want to bring in Mimikyu, to be honest. We can at least kind of stall out the Dynamax turns. Um, man, I think we bring in Mimikyu. We get, are able to take a hit. Um, it is going to be able to snap our neck, get rid of that disguise. But I think saving Durant and Whimsicott is going to be useful for us. Whimsicott does really well against... Uh, a lot of the other mons that this dude brought. So let's let's go into Mimikyu here, which I think is kind of the safest option. Hard switching into Durant there, especially on a Dynamax mon, is spooky. Does his go right for the max airstream, and that is going to break our disguise. But the good news is now we've wasted at least one turn of their Dynamax. Um, Mimikyu doesn't have the best matchup here, and uh, we actually do take the damage through the dis through the disguise, which is interesting. I think we just go for a play rough here. I could Dynamax myself, but I kind of want to save it for Durant, to be quite honest. Hmm. Man, it's kind of a rough play. 
kind of just wasting the mimic you here but I mean if we can get the Dynamax turns done with I think Durant has a decent matchup unless he brought the Gyarados is the biggest threat at that point let's just go ahead and click the play rough I think Playing it safe would be, man, so he, now he's going for another max airstream, which does give him another speed boost. Mimikyu is at least able to take one of them. Um, so we do know that, I mean, unless he goes for another max airstream, he's going to get another speed boost, which makes this thing extremely scary. But we could Dynamax Durant later, and then we'll be in a good spot. So let's go ahead and just Shadow Sneak here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we click, because they're going to be able to finish off Mimikyu, which is unfortunate. But Togekiss is one of the bigger threats, and it's nice to be able to kind of get rid of this thing a little bit or at least handle it with Mimikyu so that's gonna finish us off they do get up another max airstream which you know is not the best for us and all right so now what I think we're gonna do is I think we bring in Whimsicott um, we can just bring this thing in I know that I'm sashed so I'll be able to take at least one hit from this and I would like to set up a Tailwind, just because it allows Durant to be able to outspeed the Dragapult. Man, this is actually a really scary team uh, to just be going against right off the bat here. But let's see if we can make something happen. So, Togekiss shrinks back to regular size. And that is good, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. I think what we want to do here is just go for a Moonblast, get some damage. It's going to knock us to our Sash. And then we Tailwind after. So, we're expecting the Air Slash here. But... I mean, we don't even really need the damage. Essentially, we just need the we need the tailwind up. So, fire blast! Please do not burn me. Knocks us down to the sash, and we get the moon blast off. Uh, so now, since we have the prankster ability, we are able to set up the tailwind. Which does that even allow Durant to be able to outspeed? After the Tailwind, I guess we're going to have to see. This is kind of really the only only option I have here. Man, this Togekiss lead really, <laughs> really caught me off guard. It is quite the issue. But we can go for the Tailwind now. Um, I think this thing got too many speed boosts from the damn Max Airstream, which is unfortunate. Wow. And it actually missed that Fire Blast there. Which really doesn't matter a whole lot for us, but it just kind of stalls out another turn of my Tailwind, which does kind of suck. I'm surprised he clicked Fire Blast there. Why do you, why do you click Fire Blast? He could have just gone for a guaranteed hit. Uh, so, Whimsicott is faster now that the Tailwind is up. We get another Moon Blast up. You know, I could have actually... Um, I could have actually just gone in Dynamax there and then been able to knock it out. But, now we can bring in Durant. Who is going to be a fast boy. With that Tailwind up, I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and Dynamax here for sure. And we could even just click Max Knuckle to get that attack boost. Which I think is going to be useful. I mean, if they brought the Gyarados, we're actually in a really bad spot. But let us make Durant nice and big here, which is extremely scary. Durant with the Tailwind and also having three turns of the Dynamax. He's no easy feat to take care of, but we'll see how this goes. Go ahead and give him a little wiggle. Let him roar. And okay. Oh, it is actually, it's still actually faster. Which, we're able to live the Fire Blast because of the Dynamax, which is insane. Honestly, I thought Durant was going to be able to outspeed there. This thing is max speed jolly. Um, wow, that thing actually could have missed that Fire Blast and that would have been bad. But, Durant being four times weak to the Fire Blast still lives it. That is how OP Dynamax is. But, we have the Life Orb still. And, uh... Man, so that Fire Blast made things a little bit more interesting than they should have been. Ah, oh, but damn it. Those Max Airstreams really hacked us. Uh, so in comes a Dragapult. And, uh... You know what? How much speed is was Whimsicott sitting at? What are we... What are we working with here? Whimsicott was at 184. Um, which we did actually outspeed, so it was, it was a close... It was very close, that thing being able to outspeed us. But we just go for the max darkness here. And, uh... We'll be able to outspeed because of that tailwind. And that's going to knock out the Dragapult. So at least we're able to kill that thing. Durant kind of doing what it's supposed to there. Unfortunately, we do take the life orb damage and the tailwind peters out. 
Uh, we only have one more life orb hit left in us, and this is actually this is a super close match. If we get the knockout before we kill ourselves with life orb, uh, we are awarded awarded the win. And the last mon is going to be the Tyranitar. So we're able to outspeed this thing naturally. We have the plus one attack boost, and we still have a turn of Dynamax. So now we can just go for the max steel spike, um, which is the best option here. Get that stab. Now I guess it kind of depends if this is a. This is a sashed Tyranitar, that would be insane. But we are able to pick up the knockout. Look at my boy Durant. Absolutely came in clutch. This thing. <laughs> so we do kill ourselves with the life orb. And then we explode, which is actually hilarious. But I do believe that is a win for us, since we. Yeah, we do defeat them. So we do get awarded the win. That was an insane first match. Holy Jesus. Durant came in clutch. Honestly, when I saw that Togekiss go first and hit us with the Fire Blast, really thought we were kind of done for. But, wow, that was a hard-earned win. And I'm actually surprised that the strategy worked out there. So, that is the exact reason why we run Tailwind on this team. It able, allowed us to outspeed that Dragapult, which was perfect. Wow, we shall continue. Let's let this team keep rolling. I'm actually having a really good time with this. It honestly works out really well because Whimsicott, not only is it great for setting up Prankster... Um, Tailwinds, it just honestly, it does, it performs really well against a lot of the common Pokemon as well, so. Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves another one, boys. Oh, and that was quick, alright. Another opposing trainer has been found, let us see what we are up against this time. So, we see a Dracovish, a Rotom Heat, Mimikyu, the Dragapult, Corviknight, and a Lucario. So, first time seeing a Lucario, I believe. Um, haven't actually surprisingly played against a lot of Dracovishes either. So, the one thing I am worried about using this team is opponents using Trick Room. But, I mean, we don't see any Trick Room here. That's kind of something I wanted to note or wanted to mention. Uh, it definitely takes down this team because we rely on speed. But, I think we're pretty much good to just kind of go with what we've been working with. Uh, Mimikyu does really well because it helps us out against the Dragapult if we need it. But honestly, Durant looks like it has a decent time here. Um, except for against the Rotom Heat. Also, the Corviknight could be a little bit of an issue. But let us lead off with the Whimsicott. Gonna bring the Durant. And then we will go with the... What is High, what is High Dragon set? Forgot that. Yeah, we don't actually have... It's a nasty plot. Right, we're just gonna bring Mimikyu. Seems like the safest option. So, that first battle was absolutely insane. Let us see if we can make it happen again. So, a little bit of a prediction here. I'm expecting them to probably bring the Dragapult. Uh, the Corviknight looks really great in this matchup as well, so they'll probably bring that. Dracovish is always just something that people uh, kind of rely on, and also I don't show any water absorbers, so I'm sure they're probably going to bring that. They actually do just lead with the Rotom Heat, um, which is not great. Not great at all, but... The question is now, can I get some damage on this thing, set up a Tailwind, and let Durant be able to get some damage off on this thing? I don't know if Dynamax Crunch will be able to do enough. We might have to use Mimikyu. I could just hard switch into Mimikyu. This thing is definitely just going to go for an attack. We can take one. I think I might... I think I might want to do that. Let's save the Whimsicott. Let's just go right into Mimikyu. We're kind of doing the same type of thing we did last time. If we could bait this thing even going for a Will-O-Wisp against my Mimikyu, that would be great. But let's see. I'm sure that they're just going to go for like an Overheat. Maybe even just a Volt Switch here. They're actually going to Trick, which is very, very interesting. Okay, so these Rotom Heats are known for doing that. Did not expect. Um, it is going to actually give us a Choice Specs, and it gets my Lumberry. So now we have a Choice Specs Mimikyu, and that is not great. We're just going to click Shadow Claw here. And now this thing is kind of just free to will o me, actually, which is not good. Man, I kind of wish... That was, just, that was just an interesting play overall. Well, we're just going to click Shadow Claw. I think getting damage off on this Rotom Heat is probably the best option. If they brought the Corviknight as well, that's something that we, we have to worry about. But uh, Shadow Claw's still going to do much over half with a critical hit. Hell yeah. And then they're going to Volt Switch. Uh, so the Volt Switch there is a good play. It does get rid of my Disguise. And in the process, also allows them to get a better matchup. But it does show us kind of what else they decided to bring. So, we know they brought the Rotom Heat. Going to go ahead and take note of that. And then they have potentially... So, we're, we're choice specced into Shadow Claw at the moment. I think their best switch in here is probably Corviknight, if they decided to bring that thing. Dracovish also has a decent time. 
Um, but I guess it's kind of just waiting to see what they're going to bring. I really hope they didn't bring the Corviknight. But if they did, we will have to... I mean, we'd be able to at least take a hit from it. Shadow Claw would still kind of hurt, but I mean... Those things are just super bulky with ra or with Roost and Bulk Up, potentially. So we do not want them to bring in the Corviknight and set up Bulk Up. So that is kind of the worst case. Okay, so they're actually going to go into the Dracovish here. Um, so Dracovish is a Pokemon that is nearly impossible to switch into. We could potentially bring in Whimsicott. And take an attack. We're still Focus Ash. Actually, yeah, we could go into Whimsicott. Um... We could set up the Tailwind, and then we can kind of let Durant do its thing. We got enough damage on the Rotom Heat where I'm pretty feeling pretty confident. I think we should just go into the Whimsicott. These things are mostly going to be running Choice Scarf. Uh, Dracovish is kind of relies on its Choice Scarf most of the time. I think switching out Mimikyu is probably a good idea here. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's switch into the Whimsicott. We're doing lots of switching here, which I think is going to give us a little bit of momentum. We can save um, the Mimikyu for potential Shadow Sneak if they decided to bring the Dragapult and we need it, but... So there's the Fish's Rent. We'll be able to see how well Whimsicott takes that. Uh, doesn't even knock us down to our Sash, which is great. And without even playing any games here, we're just going to go ahead and set up the Tailwind, uh, which I believe is safe. And this will allow us to bring in the Durant. Um, I don't know if I want to bring in Durant against a full health Dracovish, to be quite honest. Is that the play here? Hmm. I mean, Durant can take at least one attack. Ooh, you know, that actually might be the play. We could also, yeah. Let's go into Durant. We could Dynamax. They're probably going to Dynamax as well, though, which is the bad part, man. So, if they, yeah, if they Dynamax here, that is not good. But we could bring in the Durant. We could go for um, just the Max Knuckle, which will give us a nice little attack boost. We can two-hit KO that thing. I think we should be able to at least take an attack from it, potentially. I don't really... Man, Dracovish just hits extremely hard, though, so... Again, we've got ourselves in a little bit of a scary situation, but let's see if Durant can come through for us. So we're going to Dynamax. We are going to hit that Max Knuckle. Um, it is non-stab, but we'll be able to see if they're going to use their Dynamax here, which I think is probably a good idea. So at least we're going to get big on him. The thing about it is when you see a Durant, you're really not that intimidated by it, to be honest. But with that Hustle ability, it gives you a boost in attack. You cannot miss any attacks when you're using... Um, Dynamax moves, which is great. So we just benefit from that attack boost. And this thing is just an absolute unit. Life Orb might hurt us here, depending on... They don't actually, they don't actually Dyna. So we're able to get off a of Max Knuckle. They're just going to stay in and finish this Rend, assuming this thing is choice. We're going to benefit from that attack boost. And yeah, this thing's just going to stay in and hit us with that. So that's fine. Duran is eating that up. Now we can just go for another Max Knuckle here. Um, seems like the safest bet. They could potentially switch. But I don't think they're going to. Yep, they're just going to go ahead and let us absolutely demolish them with the Durant. So, down goes the Dragovish. We are now sitting at plus two. We have another turn left of Dynamax, and we have the Tailwind up. So, Durant is still doing exactly what it's built to do. You'll love to see it. So, now we're going to see uh, if they're going to go ahead and show us their third slot, or if they're just going to go right back into the Rotom Heat, just to kind of die as death fodder um, does really not matter I mean the Corviknight would be great if they, if they did bring the Corviknight um, I would assume they'd probably save it they'd probably go into the Rotom here stall out my last turn of Dynamax uh, but I mean we're just sitting we could go ahead and grab another attack boost so Durant is still able to outspeed um, everything they've got actually other than the Dragapult just kidding oh it's a Mimikyu okay so that it is a little bit of the is of an issue. Um, I mean, it really does not matter what we click here. We just need to break this thing. We need to break this bad boy. Let's uh, let's go for a max steel spike because we are able to get a defense defense boost from that. Um, so we're gonna be able to see what this Mimikyu wants to do. Oh, they're gonna go ahead and Dynamax. So yeah, this Dynamax Mimikyu could be actually the worst thing for us here you know I was kind of overlooking their Mimikyu but yeah so they're gonna get, get that Dynamax and I guess it's time to see if we have anything for this which oh they're actually just gonna max guard nice play really nice play so we go for the max steel spike they do protect themselves from that um, 
Tailwind goes away, and we shrink back to normal size. So the max guard there was a great play. I think we actually have kind of caught the loss on this one because... I mean, I do still have... Yeah, no, we're, we're actually... We're in a real bad situation. Yeah, them having Mimic you does really put them in a great situation. So the max guard allows them to keep up the disguise, which really does quite suck. And we, if I still had the ability to set up a Tailwind, it could be something we could do. Er, but not really, actually. Just kidding. Well, for the most part, we just have to let Durant... I mean, if we could have gotten that defense boost, that actually could have helped us out a little bit. But we are just going to Ironhead here. And probably miss because of Hustle. Nope, just kidding. We don't. <laughs> we do get the Disguise Break. Can you flinch in front of the Disguise? Can Durant be that clutch? Do not believe so. Let me take that life orb. Yep, so he's just going to go for that max phantasm. And dang it, Durant could have saved our day if they didn't bring the Mimikyu. But that was a, that was a well-used Mimikyu because that max card was actually pretty clutch. So it just comes down to us having our own Mimikyu here. And I do believe we're going to have to lose the second one. Which does suck. The team does run into some issues when the Tailwind goes away. And then also... We just aren't able to break that disguise in time. So, that kind of sucks. But at this point, we basically just click Shadow Claw. And, uh... Our Mimic U cannot take an attack from this thing. We do actually outspeed, though. Our Shadow Claw does a decent amount of damage. Uh, but unfortunately, this is going to be able to knock us out. So, Mimic U has proven to literally be the scariest Mon in ranked battles. As, uh, you really got to try to find a way around this thing. But we could not today. Man, we could have beaten we could have beaten that Rotom Heat. We would have had an easy time if it was anything but the damn mimic you. Well, you win some, you lose some. And uh, I mean, so far this team's been used to winning, but that was well played there. That mimic you ruined my damn day. We could check their team, but we're not gonna. All right, let's go ahead and continue battling and see if we can at least get this bad boy to work. We do lose a little bit of rank, but. We're still on the positive in today's episode. We're 13 and 4. Two of those losses actually didn't even count. We didn't even, we've only lost two in this whole series. But, all right. We actually got ourselves another one nice and quick. So, let us see what these people brought. Okay, they got another Mimikyu, which is scary. So, Dragapult. They have the Tyranitar. Ooh, Karadont. And also the Salazzle. Mimikyu, and then there's the... Galarian Corsola. So, um, I'm sure that they're going to bring their own Mimikyu, so I kind of want to save my Mimikyu just for that thing. Um, but for the most part, let's just kind of see if we can get <laughs> if we can get this strategy uh, to work for us at least one more time. So, Mim's got Durant, Mimikyu. I want to conserve my own Mimikyu for their, their Mimikyu. I think where I went wrong in that last battle uh, was hard switching. And the Mimikyu against the Rotom Heat, I mean, we just had a bad first matchup which allowed me to have to break my disguise if I kept my own Mimikyu's disguise up against that other Mimikyu we would have would have had would have been able to potentially win it but hindsight is 2020 and let's see if we can we can come through on this one so they're gonna lead with Tyranitar um, this is actually great for our buddy Whimsicott here saying he's gonna set up the sandstorm the bad news about that is that obviously it's gonna break our focus ash. I don't think Tyranitar has anything that can knock us out in one hit. I kind of just want to go for a Moonblast here. Um, trying to think about what their switch ins to this might be. Um, there's not really much. Whimsicott looks great against their team. I'm just trying to think. I think we can take an attack from this thing, but it just depends on what kind of T tar this thing is. If it decides to Dynamax on the turn one, you just you really never know. Let's just go for a Moonblast. And we're just gonna kind of have to, uh, just gonna kind of have to see. Ooh, they are gonna Dynamax turn one. That is not good at all. But at least we do know that. Uh, I mean, they're gonna be using their Dmax up early. So uh, I do want to try to get the Tailwind up just in case of a Dragapult being around. That's kind of the main issue for us. But uh, so if we get that Moonblast off. It's gonna do a decent chunk that should help out. Um, with Durant being able to do... Ooh, this thing's also 
going to be a weakness policy boy. Oh, sweet Jesus. Now it's going to hit us with a max steel spike. And that is going to knock us down to our sash, but the sandstorm's going to kill us. Um, so we're not going to be able to get up the tailwind. Weakness policy Tyranitar with the max steel spike, which is scary. It also gets a defense raise, which is not great. Not great at all. <laughs> so it gets that defense boost. Uh, I could bring in Durant. Outspeed, Dynamax, and Superpower myself, which I do believe knocks this thing out. Man, the weakness policy, T-Tar. Freaking scary, man. I mean, I could go into Mimikyu, and... Nah, I want to save the Mimikyu. Well, nothing left for us to do other than just go into Durant. Man, these leads have really gotten the best of us this episode, but, you know, it happens. So, we bring in the Durant. We absolutely have to Dynamax here. And we want to hit superpower. Um, we'll be able to get that attack boost as well. I'm just worried about that defense boost. So, Tyranitar is another great Dynamax user, especially with the weakness policy. You're like guaranteed to get hit with a damn super effective attack, so you kind of just really get that uh, them stat benefits. Like every time. Also, it seems like in the sandstorm, we really be dropping frames out here. Alright. So, Durant gonna get huge. And I guess it is time to see. I mean, this turn is really gonna make or break the battle. But we're a big ant, and we aren't afraid of anything. Even, even massive fucking Reptar over here. Just kidding. We're a little bit afraid. Alright. So, Max Knuckle, we do not even have any Knuckles, but it's going to be able to knock out the T-Tar, which is great. They no longer have their Dynamax, and now we have a Durant with an attack boost, and we still have two turns of Dynamax. So, potentially, if we could just get two one-hit kills, that would be fantastic. We do not have the Tailwind up, uh, which does scare me because of the Dragapult. I think that's the main thing we're worried about outspeeding. They, they do have the Dragapult. Well... Can we take an attack from this thing, though, is the question. We do not take Sandstorm damage because we're Steel-type. We're just going to go ahead and hit Max Darkness. And let us see what this Dragapult is packing for us. Just going to go for the Phantom Force, actually. Which is a great play, because this is a physical attacking Dragapult, which is not something you see very often. And it's going to allow it to avoid my attack, which in turn stalls out um, one of my Dynamax turns. So that kind of that kind of heckin' sucks. But... Gonna get hit with the Phantom Force here. Doesn't do much to us, obviously. And we will be able to get a knockout against this thing. But it kind of just stall out another turn of my D-Max. So it kind of depends on what they brought next. So Durant still doing its thing. Absolutely destroying these Dragapults. And uh, let's see what their last Pokemon is. I'm gonna say Mimikyu. Mimikyu just looks like it performs really well against my team. Oh, it's gonna be Crawdont. Okay. Did not expect... Ooh, and the bad thing about Karada... No, actually, I think we're still okay. I was going to say, my only bug move is, move is first impression, but obviously, I mean, superpower, especially because we have that attack boost, we should be okay. Uh, this thing could potentially just go for an Aqua Jet, which I think we should be able to take. I mean, but now we just kind of run the risk of having to let Durant try to hit an attack with Hustle. If we miss this, that's going to suck, but we do still have the Mimikyu in the back. Uh, so I think we're okay. We just click superpower here. Now let's see what Big Meaty Claws wants for us. We do go first. We break through Durant with the superpower clutch. And that's going to knock it down to a Focus Ash. But luckily, we should be, we're, we're, still in, we're still in good shape because of the Sandstorm. Which he's going to be able to hit us with a Crab Hammer. Does knock out Durant, which is sad. But we got the Mimikyu in the back. Oh, the Sandstorm actually, I was going to say, I was literally just thinking, I was like, this is the Sandstorm seriously going to subside? the last second <laughs> that was like the best possible time for that sandstorm to go away i was like how many turns was that i was trying to do the math in my head but i was like i think we're still good but we weren't but we still got Mimikyu, who doesn't even need to go for the shadow sneak we're just going to go for the play rough just because you know you got to try to get as much damage as possible you got to ensure that you get that kill especially when they have one hp you never know you might do uh 0.5 hp damage which is obviously a joke but uh, having the Mimikyu in the back is clutch. Man, that Sandstorm <laughs> helped out this dude. Alright, so we just outspeed. The play rough is going to be able to knock out the Crawdaunt. 
and we got ourselves another win. So we had a rough one in the middle there, but the team seemed to work out. Most of the time, I feel like, I mean, I could have definitely won that second match. I, it was kind of, uh, it could have been a, an avoidable loss, but we at least finished off with a nice little win there. And uh, long live the Durant, boys. So, super fun team. I believe we are going to go ahead and quit battling here. Also, if we select rank battles, and then we go into single battle, does it show me my new rank? How do I get it to like, yeah, there we go. So we, <laughs> we gained a little bit of points, but not much, but we did overall, we got ourselves in a better situation than we were when we started. So, so now 14 and four, not too shabby. We are gonna end the episode here though, guys. Uh, next time I'll probably be experimenting with some new stuff, so hopefully we can uh, we can keep the decent you know win streak going. Well, I didn't mean not win streak, but we're still positive, so that's what we're aiming for. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's always a fun time recording this series, and uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button on the video. Also, leave a comment, helps out the channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.